Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to copy arrays. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Right. So first things first, what is the basics of copying an array? Right. Well, if you wanted to copy the contents of one variable to another, so let's say that I had um, variable y initialized with two, and I wanted to assign to x the contents of y. Right? I can just do a simple assignment statement, and if I print out the contents of those two variables, you're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see that they both contain two, right? Because the, the two inside of y was assigned to x, and so now both x and y have got two in it combined, right? Now, that's not going to work with arrays, okay? So let me create a couple of arrays here, um, create an array named A, uh, we'll make it three elements long, and we'll create array B, okay, and we'll make that three elements long. So if I assign A of 0, 8, and I assign to A of 1, uh, 6, and I assign to A of 2, uh, 7, right, if this was, if this worked just like with regular old integer variables like I just showed you, then you would expect that you could say, well, B equals A, right? And so then you would expect that the contents of the A variable, the A variable will be assigned to B. Well, that's not gonna happen, right? Um, you can't copy arrays this way. Um, so what you have to do instead is you have to do an element by element copy, right? So if I want to take the contents of array A and copy that into B, then I'd have to do something like this. Um, B of zero is equal to A of zero, right? Um, and do that for every single element, okay? So that will actually uh, get the array copied over, okay? So let's print out uh, the contents of both of those arrays okay, using a for loop and so we'll do the C out A of I and um, put a comma in between and B of I. And you'll see that once we're done uh, with the copying here, you know, this for loop is going to show us that uh, they both contain the same thing, right? So there's the A content, uh, or excuse me, there's the B content, and there's the A content. Okay. So, you know, we've got the same thing in both arrays, fine. Okay. Um, now, that works, but you look at this, and this is kind of gross, right? So, what we can do is, is we can speed that copy up uh, by displaying or by using a loop, right? So we'll we'll do the same thing. So what we'll do here is we'll say, all right, let's go ahead and um, say i less than three, i plus plus, and we'll assign to b of i, um, a of i. So that's gonna do the same thing because i is gonna start off at zero, then it's gonna become one, then it's gonna become two, Right? And so this loop you know, really shortens that down uh, quite a bit, right? So I'll go ahead and run it, and you can see that I end up with the same results, right? There's the A, there's the B uh, array, so no worries, no problems. Okay, so that works just dandy. Let me just point out one thing, where it's just dandy, just neato, just nifty, so long as both the arrays are the same size, right? So. Um, what if they're not both the same size, okay? Um, what if instead uh, the B array had six elements in it, okay? Well, that's okay because in this case because array B has got plenty of room to take everything that array A has in it. Now, B will only have its first three elements um, you know, filled up, Right? The rest of the array is still going to have garbage in it, but that's okay because we copied everything from A that we wanted to copy into B. Now B's got some space left over, so what? No big deal. Who cares? Right Now, the problem comes 
when you got a situation like this, right? So B is my target array, A is my source array. The source array has more elements than the target array, right? So, you know, when I do that, uh-oh, I've got uh, some issues, right? Because what's going on here is that I've got um, an error in that this target array, I'm trying to access an invalid memory location, right? When i is equal to two, uh, that's an invalid index. So uh, the valid indexes for two element array are only zero and one, right? So that's a problem, okay? So you gotta make sure that your source array has got enough room for everything that your, or excuse me, your target array has enough room for everything that your source array uh, has to copy over, right? That, that's gonna be copied over into it. So one thing you could do is you could say, well, let's only do that copy if you know the target array is big enough, right? So you throw some uh, named constants in here. Um, so we'll say a size three and uh, then we'll use that to declare the size of a and then we'll have you know const int b size equals two and then we'll use that size okay so then only execute this for loop if um, b size is uh, greater than or equal to a size. Okay, so we're only going to execute the code for copying and printing if there's actually enough room to do the copy. Right? I kind of don't like it. Um, you know, and if it's and if it's not the case that the B array that its size is greater than or equal to the A array size, well then maybe we'll just print out a little error message here and say, um, SC out error target array to Right, so you know, it almost kind of makes sense when you think about it. I mean, you can't copy the contents of one array into another if the target array uh, isn't big enough, right? So the target array is too small. But if we made uh, the size bigger, say five, right? Well then, no problem, right? Uh, because that target array's got enough elements. Now, um, one other thing I'll point out here is that, <clears throat> you know, uh, we could also control these loops based off of, you know, how big uh, the arrays are, right? So if I'm gonna be copying over A size elements, well then maybe I should have A size repetitions for my loops, right? Um, so go ahead and compile and run that. Okay, so that's it. I mean, that's the big deal. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. You know, if you're gonna copy your arrays, you have to do it element by element, right? So you've got to have assignment statements that assign each element one by one. The easiest thing to do is put that in the loop, but also keep in mind that your target array, in this case B, it's got to have enough space to accept everything that you want to copy into it, right? So, you know, the uh, source array has got to be same size or smaller than your target array. That's it. Okay. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.